Hey guys, welcome back to The Interceptor. We are here with another Alliance War. This is Alliance War Season 44, War Number 6 versus VN77. And like I have said in War 5, this is unfortunately the war that I forget to record a fight. Or sorry, that, uh, that a recording fails. Um, and it's the most important fight. So I, I took a uh, rank 2 7 star duped photon boss in this war. And the fight just didn't record. I ran out of storage. Um, I've been working on uploading a lot of videos that I have saved, and I have been deleting a lot. The problem is when I have 20 minutes of fights every single war, because I take so many fights, that's a lot of uh, memory. So I'm constantly deleting stuff, constantly making sure storage is not running out, but... Uh, unfortunately, this was the first time this season that it did. So the very last fight, um, I don't have, but I'll, I'll explain how it went when we get there. So we have the team today of Stealthy, Scorpion, and Silk. Uh, Silk has some pretty cool fights that I actually really love. Um, and we are boosting up here, and we're going to clear all the way to the end, and then... I had to wait for some mini bosses to come down, so I had to stop the recording and then start it again later when the mini boss came down so that I could reach the boss. And uh, maybe if I'd been able to record it all at once, that wouldn't have been an issue. But uh, if you remember earlier in the season when I took a scorpion, I messed up the fight by accidentally. Um, forgetting to put on slow pre-fight but here i did remember so uh, i also made the decision not to activate my precision in this fight but the reason that i did that was so that um so that i didn't activate the the damage reflection more because i only have one debuff and while that slow debuff does uh reflect the, or does prevent some of the damage from the attacker tactic it unfortunately does not prevent it all because i he's uh because scorpion is not a tactic defender so i can't get enough debuffs but uh yeah we have silk here for this kitty pride pretty straightforward fight um i think i just throw an sp2 and she dies or maybe I go for two SP2s, I'm not sure. Uh, but my plan here was to push her to SP2 and then bait it, because uh, I prefer baiting her SP2. Her unblockable here is actually super long, uh, but I want to make sure that I don't push her to an SP1 while she's unblockable. And I know that baiting out the SP2 does not remove her phase, but I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, but here I'm going to go for my SP2, and it actually kills her which is really nice one sp2 killed i mean i am pretty much max boosted uh, but that was still a really nice fight and in section two unfortunately the path i am on they put a havoc on the first node and while silk probably could take that havoc it would be a little bit risky so we decided to send the guy with a mega sentinel to clean it up and then i am going to be doing this this is the only time this season at least so far um that uh, that I've had to double a path. Um, but yeah. So we have Claire on this node. This fight's going to be pretty straightforward. She is going to go unblockable at one point. Uh, but I don't really care about that. She's still a pretty easy defender. Um, at one point in time, I was not super comfortable countering her SP1 after I dexed it. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty confident with it now and I can do it every time. And <laughs> Other than that, obviously, I actually don't remember that happening. So that's crazy that, like, right as I was talking about it, it actually happened. Uh, here, I didn't throw my SP2 because of the power sting. But the global actually lowers the power sting, like the attacker tactic. So I could have just thrown it and I would have taken, like, maybe 2% damage. I did that against um, Photon on node... What node is it? It's... Uh, 39 node 39 yeah that node on the right there that's taken um 
and I just ignored the power sting and I took like less than 5% damage with Stealthy, but that's okay. Uh, and also Photon's not a global defender, so I wasn't able to get as many debuffs up. Uh, but this is an America Chavez on uh, on the knockdown node, and I have seen some videos from other Stealthy players showing off a different way to do this fight. I really disagree with the way that they did the fight. Uh, but the thing is, this is a really bad fight to show off the all uh, the optimal play style because I actually forget to use my slow, and she is going to go unstoppable in this fight due to me forgetting that. There, I couldn't have prevented it, uh, but if I knew I had the slow, I just would have waited for the debuff immunity to go away. Here she goes unstoppable again, two out of two times, um, but now I just have to like melt her down. If I had the slow, I probably could have saved. I don't know. I don't know if, if five seconds is possible, but I could have saved a decent amount of time off this fight. Also, here I should have just pushed her to SP2, um, and I, I could have killed her before she even had to, a chance to throw it, but whatever. I made the decision to bait out a special, um, and she does go down, but yeah, I probably lost maybe even 10 seconds there to just sub-optimal uh, cycle, and also... Um, Forgetting to use my pre-fight was a huge one. And it's not actually the last time that happens. There's a t there's a fight in War 8. I forget to use my slow pre-fight. I guess I'm just not constantly thinking about it. Uh, but this fight is amazing. This is Silk's last fight for this war. She destroys this fight. This is Hulkling. And the node he's on is like Burden of Might. And I think there's some regeneration node as well. Um, I think there's also Indomitable on this node, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there is. Uh, but the strat here was to just get to my SP3 and then kill him. And I'm not joking. Because one cycle kills this guy. One. One cycle. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but here I bait SP1. The only thing I really have to worry about uh, or like remember is that... Um, uh, I don't want to throw the sp3 during the indestructible here He throws the sp2 perfectly in time and I am going to actually wait No, I'm actually gonna okay. That's funny. Um, I think it's an it's next war that I do this then Yeah, but uh, next war There's a really nice fight where sp3 pushes me to sp2 but unfortunately because he's indestructible I actually don't gain the power back from my science power back boost and that's actually going to make me not get to my sp uh sp2 here but i think sp1 still kills yeah sp1 still kills but it, had i gotten to my sp2 obviously would have done more damage this is just a fight of like or a whole war full of non-perfect fights but like i'm just doing enough for them to be okay fights you know uh, but I've definitely had way better wars. Wars 7 and 8 are way better, I promise. Both of them. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, slow pre-fight here for Wong on Hazard Shift. This fight is not going to be very tough. But one thing I uh, have to think about is that if I finish this fight with Wong having over a bar of power, then the boss will start with a bar of power, which actually isn't that big of a deal. Uh, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, also, my parries are going to be failing, and I did know that, but I know that when I have slow up and he charges heavy, I can start hitting him. Uh, get my SP1 up here, and this fight is just about occasionally baiting SP1s, but this guy is going to die so fast that it doesn't really matter, and I'm just healing from hazard shift the whole time, mostly. Uh, but yeah, just remember to dash back occasionally there. Uh, my parry actually lands because I only had two debuffs on me. And then here, I believe I'm about to kill him after I bait this SP1 out. And unfortunately, on the last medium attack, it pushes him over a bar of power. I don't really know how I could have prevented that in that situation other than dashing back, hitting into his block, pushing him to SP1, and then hitting him. Uh, but yeah, here, unfortunately, is the end of the recording. Um, 
I could have taken, I, I told my officer I can take this Mangog and Doom and then take the boss if you want. And I actually did heal up Silk because I thought I was taking the fights. Uh, my officer actually has a ascended rank five Silk. Oh, it's actually a, sorry, I apologize. Earlier in the video, I said it was a, uh, a seven star rank two. I guess it's a six star rank five Photon boss. Uh, but unfortunately, after I took the boss, this came up. Yeah, so I'll tell you how the boss went. It was a really beautiful fight. Um, so my officer showed me a video of taking this fight while using the Enervate pre-fight. And in that fight, Photon never got to a bar of power. Um, because a trick you can do is you can dex her medium attack and counter with a light, which removes the need for blocking in the fight. So I got every single opening in my fight by doing that, by dashing back, dexing a medium attack and countering with a light. Um, and obviously off the start of the fight, I had to do two combos ending with a light attack and then one with an SP1 to get up my precision and my, uh, and my fury. And then I just kept dashing back every couple seconds because what i would do is i would dex a medium counter with a light and then do medium light light and then dash back again and that's actually not uh that's actually the perfect amount of time so that my enervate never gets drained and when i got to my sp2 in the fight i threw it to make, give me a longer enervate just in case but the fight took 70 seconds uh for the rank 5 photon so yeah, I apologize, I didn't have the fight, but as you can see right here, the screen recording failed. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do my best to have that not happen again, <laughs> but I can't make any promises because sometimes it just happens. So yeah, I really wish, I, you have no idea how much I wish that I could show off that fight because I ended with a full yellow bar against a photon boss. It was beautiful. But anyways, uh, we actually went on to lose this war with a score of 6 to 8, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's a close war. We are now 3-3 three and three on the season. Uh, my death total is still at 1 from War 1, that Tiger fight, and my PSR is at 42 out of 43 fights soloed, uh, which is 98%, and my death total streak is up to 36 fights. Wait, no. Is that right? Six. Oh yeah, it is right. 36 fights. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next video. I promise, I promise the gameplay will be better than these than this one. This was just a sloppy war other than the boss fight, which was like picture perfect. It was just a sloppy war of me forgetting to use pre-fights and yeah, I promise it'll be better. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.